hello everyone welcome to the my channel which is learning institute and today i am going to discuss about the very important uh, topic molecular spectra electronic molecular spectra so let us start the video contents introduction salient feature formation of spectra vibrational structure and uh, energy level diagrams introduction electronic spectroscopy relies on the quantized nature of energy state given enough energy an electron can be excited state excited from its initial ground state or initial excited state that is hot band and briefly exist in higher energy excited state Electronic transitions involve exciting an electron from one principal quantum state to another like n equal to 1, 2, n equal to 2, 3, 4, dot, dot. Often during electronic spectroscopy, the electron is excited first from an initial low energy state to higher energy state by absorbing photon energy and from the spectrophotometer. If the wavelength of the incident beam has enough energy to promote an electron to a higher level, then we can detect this in the absorption, absorbance spectrum. Once in the excited state, the electron has a higher potential energy and will relax back to a lower state by emitting photon energy. And this is called the fluorescence and can be detected in the spectrum as well. Molecular is electronic spectra salient feature First the electronic spectra are more complex Because it is absorbed in visible and ultraviolet region both Also involve change in electronic vibrational and rotational energy of the molecule all diatomic molecules exhibited electronic spectra Homonuclear molecules gives only electronic spectra. Homo samasthe honge same type ke atom se bana hua molecule. Formation of electronic spectra. When one of the atom forming a diatomic molecules is electronically excited, that is the valence electron is pushed up into an orbital further from the nucleus. The molecule is said to be an electronically excited state. The various possible arrangements for a given molecule form a pattern of allowed electronic state of the molecule. For each of the electronic state, there is a different dependence of the molecule energy on its internuclear separation. That is, each electronic, each electronic state of a molecule has a different potential energy curve characterized by a minimum at an equilibrium internuclear distance re dissociation limit d and a set of discrete vibration levels and set of discrete rotation level to alag alag internuclear distance par aur dissociation limit par hame ek set of vibration level milta hai aur ek set of rotational level milta hai jaisa ki hum yahan dekh sakte hain do set of levels hai ek higher energy level se ek lower energy level So this is a graph between internuclear distance Re and molecular energy. So this is the ground level and this is the excited level and this is the potential energy curve. Here Re is the equilibrium nuclear internuclear distance and D is the dissociation limit. T dash is the electronic energies in the upper state and T double dash is the electronic energy in the lower state. So we can write as a T dash minus T E double dash is equal to V E. And this is a excited 
the level excited by getting energy absorb energy from this state to this state first the two typical potential curves for diatomic molecule are shown in the figure the lower one representing ground state representing lower one representing the ground state and the upper one representing the electronically excited state of the molecule the cops differ in shape and size as well as in position of minimum because the atoms are loosely bound in excited state the curve showing the molecules potential energy as a function of internuclear distance becomes shallower and broader and the equilibrium internuclear distance increases with increasing electronic excitation here this is the potential energy curve so this is a continuously varying with internuclear distance re this is the potential energy the difference between the two minima is this t dash minus t double dash equal b when a transition of molecule from one electronic state to the other electronic state take place the emitted or absorbed radiation fall in the visible or ultraviolet region the electronic transitions are accompanied by the again number of transitions involving a vibrational level of upper and a vibrational level of lower electronic state each such vibrational transition is in turn accompanied by a number of transitions involving a rotational level of lower vibrational state so one such emission transition has shown in figure in previous slide the rotation transition give us give rise to a group of fine lines which constitute a band thus a band arise from particular vibrational transition and the bands arising from all the vibrational transition constitute a band system thus a single electronic transition in a molecule give rise to a band system a single electron ka transition kisi molecule mein एक बैंड सिस्टम को बनाता है वाइब्रेशनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक बैंड सिस्टम इन इमिशन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ट्रांजिशन इन्वॉल्व चेंजेस इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एनर्जी वाइब्रेशन एनर्जी एंड रोटेशन एनर्जी देयरफॉर वेव नंबर एराइजिंग फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ट्रांजिशन आर गिवन बाय वी इक्वल टी डैश माइनस टी डबल डैश प्लस जी डै जी डैश माइनस जी डबल डैश प्लस एफ डैश माइनस एफ डबल डैश वेयर वी इक्वल टू टी डैश माइनस टी डबल डैश ए कॉन्स्टेंट फॉर अ गिवेन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ट्रांजिशन सो दिस इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट फॉर अ गिवेन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ट्रांजिशन जी डैश एंड जी डैश करस्पॉन्ड टू वाइब्रेशनल लेवल एसोसिएटेड विद डिफरेंट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्टेट एंड सो हैव डिफरेंट सिमिलरली एफ एंड एफ डैश फॉर द रोटेशनल एनर्जी स्टेट रोटेशनल ट्रांजिशन let us ignore the rotational structure of indivisible band so we can put as f dash minus f double dash equal 0 then the wave number corresponding to the band origin of the system can be written as v not equal v plus g dash v dash minus g double dash v dash double dash and this is the value of gv dash is equal to this and minus g double v dash is this and also for an electronic transition there is no restriction on the change in vibrational quantum number that is delta v is unrestricted and these are the energy level diagram 
this is upper level energy electronic state and lower electronic state v dash and v double dash delta g dash half delta g dash three half and this the selection rule during this transition delta v equal plus one here delta v equal to zero here delta v equal minus one and delta v equal to plus one transition from each vibration level of the upper electronic state can take place of to each of the vibration level of the electronic state second large number of band for from a single transition if the temperature of the emission sources is higher than the room temperature a good number of vibration levels of the upper electronic states are appreciable populated and hence a good number of emission band are obtained as shown in figure it is seen from the energy level diagram that the entire band system can be divided into a number of easily recognized groups and each group consists of few closed bands and these are called the sequences and the band of the sequence lines separation between the corresponding vibration levels of the upper electronic state so we can write as a delta gv delta z dash half equal g1 g dash 1 minus z dash 0 is equal to putting the value of g dash 1 and g dash 0 and similarly for delta z dash z3 half and similarly delta g dash 5 half the second difference of successive vibration spectra of quanta can be written as del 2 g dash equal to w e dash x e dash applications of this type of uh, electronic transitions the two principal application are the structure determination and the qualitative quantitative analysis the position and intensity of an electronic absorption band provides information as to the chemical structure such absorption normally are not as useful as infrared absorption because they don't have they don't give as a detail information so these are the applications of electronic spectra so this is all about for today this is this video is very helpful for those who learning the basics of molecular spectra so thanks for watching video thank you